step into the captivating world of Lawman, a 1958 TV series that brought the essence of the Wild West right into your living room. Led by a cast of classic Hollywood actors, including John Russell and Peter Brown, this show didn't just depict the rugged terrain and the lawless era, it immersed viewers in the complexities of morality and justice. If you're pondering which classic Hollywood actor stole the show for you, was it the strong, steadfast presence of John Russell or the youthful charm of Peter Brown? We're eager to hear about your most cherished memories or personal experiences with this iconic series. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your journey through Lawman's dusty trails and moral dilemmas could spark a lively discussion. Remember, the Old West wasn't just about shootouts and showdowns. It was a time where principles clashed and characters were tested. So, what's your tale from Lawman? Share away! Lawman, a television series that aired in the late 50s, stood out for its gripping portrayal of law enforcement in the Wild West. Set in the town of Laramie, the show followed Marshal Dan Troop as he upheld justice, navigating the moral complexities of maintaining order. Troop's unwavering dedication to the law was balanced by the sharp-witted deputy Johnny McKay, creating a dynamic duo that captivated audiences. The series' unique style lay in its emphasis on character-driven narratives, delving into the personal struggles and ethical dilemmas faced by those enforcing the law in a rugged, unpredictable frontier. Its impact on popular culture was significant, not just for its portrayal of the Old West, but for its exploration of nuanced themes that transcended the typical Western tropes. Lawman served as a benchmark for subsequent TV shows and films exploring law enforcement in untamed territories, leaving an indelible mark on the genre. Recycled scripts were a subtle yet intriguing element of the show's creation. One writer, credited as W. Hermanos, actually indicated recycled scripts from another Siriestes was a Spanish take on Warner Brothers. John Russell notably acted out the same story on two different shows. In one, he played a retired gunfighter, while on the other, he portrayed the hero attempting to dissuade the gunfighter from a showdown. Additionally, an interesting detail emerged at the series' start. Dan and Johnny had a pet cat in their office. Strangely, the cat disappeared during the first season without any explanation. These subtle quirks added layers to the show's dynamics, leaving fans wondering about the cat's sudden disappearance. John Russell drew inspiration for his character, Dan Troop, from a real-life officer he knew during his time in the U.S. Marines. This influence shaped Troop's portrayal, adding authenticity to the show's depiction of law enforcement in the Wild West. Interestingly, as the series progressed into its second season, the characters of Dan and Johnny faced numerous challenges and injuries. Throughout that season, Dan was injured three times and shot four times, while Johnny faced six injuries and three gunshot wounds. Their actions also unfolded in gripping episodes, with Dan shooting and injuring two people, as well as shooting and killing a total of 22 individuals. Johnny, on the other hand, shot and injured one person and shot and killed ten. The peak of their confrontations occurred in episode 18 to capture the West, where they collectively shot and killed four individuals in one intense episode. The passing of the cast members has left a poignant mark on the show's legacy. With Peter Brown's death in March 2016, none of the main actors portraying the three central characters are still alive today. John Russell passed away in January 1991 and Peggy Castle in August 1973, marking the end of an era for the show and its memorable cast. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a deeper understanding of the individuals who brought the compelling characters of Lawman to life on screen. In season four of the late 50s series, the character dynamics shifted notably. Dan Troop, portrayed by John Russell, took on a seasoned persona, despite Russell being much younger than the envisioned age for Troop's experience. The makeup department added gray streaks to Russell's hair, and he modulated his voice to appear older. This change aimed to match Troop's character depth with Russell's youthful appearance. Throughout this season, the action escalated, with both Dan and Johnny encountering various injuries. Dan faced two injuries and three gunshot wounds, while Johnny dealt with seven injuries but remained unshot. The statistics of their actions also transformed. Dan shot and injured 11 people, killing 19, while Johnny injured five and killed nine. Notably, the series altered its approach to violence from season three onwards, shifting from killing off villains to merely wounding them, showcasing a toned-down version of confrontations. 
The show's evolution in character portrayal and action sequences throughout this period marked a transition in the narrative's intensity and the depiction of conflict shaping the trajectory of the series as it progressed. Johnny's upbringing was marked by tragedy, his parents passing when he was just 10. Raised by trusted family friends, he dubbed uncles Jess and Joe, portrayed by Edgar Buchanan and Frank Ferguson, Johnny found solace amidst loss. Throughout the series, he faced personal crossroads, quitting as deputy thrice. Doubts about his heritage, conflicts with Dan, and the weight of shooting a childhood friend led him to question his role in law enforcement. These pivotal moments revealed layers to his character, showcasing a complex journey beyond the badge. The series didn't just unfold gripping narratives, it also captured the authentic essence of Wyoming's weather. Unlike counterparts that portrayed the state with warmer climates, Lawman stayed true to the cooler reality. Regularly featuring characters in heavy coats, the show reflected Wyoming's actual temperatures more accurately. This attention to detail lent an air of realism, setting it apart from other Western series. One distinct facet setting this Western apart was its comic book adaptations. During its run, 11 comic books were crafted, delving deeper into the show's narratives. These publications extended the TV series' reach, offering fans additional adventures and insights into the characters' lives. Unlike many other contemporaneous Warner Brothers westerns, this series stood out by not featuring crossovers from other shows' stars, maintaining a unique narrative trajectory. Dan Sheridan's portrayal of Jake the bartender at the Birdcage Saloon added depth to the town of Laramie. While Jake's last name was only mentioned once as Summers, his presence contributed to the show's ambience and storytelling, enriching the Wild West setting without intermingling with other popular show stars of the era. The comic book adaptations and the distinctive nature of its standalone narrative among Warner Brothers westerns contributed to the show's legacy, enhancing its engagement with audiences. As we draw the curtain on this journey through the captivating world of that iconic television series from yesteryears, there lies a lingering invitation for you. Reflect, if you will, on the moments painted in the hues of that gripping narrative. Allow the nostalgia to gently beckon memories from the archives of your mind, summoning forth the scenes, the characters, and the emotions that Lawman unfurled within you. Perhaps it was the rugged charm of the Wild West or the compelling portrayal of justice in a frontier town that sparked a connection. Or was it the charismatic characters, their triumphs, their struggles, etching an indelible mark on your viewing experience? Whatever it may be, your thoughts, your cherished memories are the vibrant threads weaving the tapestry of Lawman's legacy. We invite you to share, to converse, to delve into the mosaic of anecdotes and sentiments that this timeless series has carved within you. Your voice adds depth to this tale, enriching the collective narrative we all hold dear. Thank you for gracing these moments with your attention and nostalgia-tinged reflections. Your engagement, your story, contributes to the enduring resonance of this classic series. Until we traverse these trails again, here's to the reminiscences that Lawman has etched within our hearts. Gratefully yours!